Hi, you are going to learn in this video the laptop power state. So this is a very exclusive video where you will discover the power plan for the laptop motherboard. So if you understand the working principle of these states, you can easily troubleshoot and repair any failed motherboard. So let's get started so as you can see here we have basically the state okay we have s0 state s1 s3 s5 and s4 okay so we have basically six states from s0 to s5 okay and over here we have the power plane where we have the name of signals for the motherboard we have the B plus, basically B plus is the main power for any laptop equal to 19 volt, usually 19 volt. We have the plus 3 VA, okay? We have the 5 volt and 3 volt always. And also we have 1.2 always. And we have 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt. This is basically the power for the RAM, random access memory. But for the RAM, as you know, there is many types of random access memory. DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, DDR5, etc. So this power here, 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt is for DDR2. Okay, so the RAM has basically two kinds of power. The main power and the power for VTT or for terminals. So for DDR1, the power is 2.5 volts and 1.25 volts for terminals, okay? DDR2, we have 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt, always the half of the main power. For DDR3, 1.5 volt and 0.75 volts. For DDR4, 1.2 volt and 0.6 volt for VTT and for DDR5 1.1 volt as a main power and 0.55 volt as a VTT okay and over here we have other powers as you can see plus 5 volt plus 3 volt plus 2.5 volt so plus 1.8 volt, 1.5 volt, 1.1 volt, and we have the VGA core. This is basically for the graphic cards. And over here, of course, we have other powers like CPU core. NP means North Bridge, okay, the North Bridge. So this is basically the main power for the North Bridge or the chipset. Here we have the CPU core zero. Here basically we have two channels for CPU because the CPU or the processor has usually two channels or more, okay? So let's begin with S5 state, as you can see. So basically S5 state means the sleep state and S0 state means the whole working state. So if we go here, for example, here, as you can see here, we have the system working state, we have S0, okay? So S0 means the system working state. And here, if, you, if we go in this direction, means S1, S3, S4, until S5, we have sleeping state, okay? And of course, from S5 to S0, we have the waking state, okay? So here, as you can see, we have S5, and S4 with AC and battery don't exist, not connected, we don't have any voltage. This means nothing, we cannot get any voltage in the motherboard. So this mark means no voltage, this mark means the voltage is exist. Okay, so here we have S5, S4 with battery only. When we have battery only, we can get just the plus B, the 19 volt with plus 3 VL, okay? Okay, but with the same state, S5, S4, here, S5, S4, with the AC, we get another voltage. 
we get the plus 5 volt always and 3 volt always and 1.2 volt always so if you connect just the battery you cannot get these voltages but with the ac you can get these voltages but for this the ram and the cpu etc no voltages okay okay sc we get the three kind of voltages with the battery or with the ac okay we get the plus b voltage the 19 volt we get the always voltages like plus 5 volt and 3 volt and also the ram is powered so the ram is powered in s2 state the cpu not yet i don't have the cpu not yet but in state where the cpu also is powered we can get those voltages like the cpu core voltage and the cpu core for north bridge and for the graphic count etc okay so the cpu voltage is usually about 0 0.8 volt and 1.2 volt okay so for s0 so for the s0 also we get all voltages okay so let's move on to the next slide so now here i'm going to explain to you what is exactly the system power states and it all so the system power states describe the power consumption of the system as a whole the operating system supports six system power states referred to as s0 fully on and operational through s5 power off so each state is characterized by the following power consumption how much power does the computer use okay because the power consumed by the laptop in s0 for example is not like s5 s5 is the power off state so no power is consumed but s0 the laptop is in full operation okay so it will consume more power okay so the power consumption how much power does the computer use then the software resumption from what point does the operating system restart and then the hardware latency how long does it take to return the computer to the working state then we have here the system hardware context such as the content of volatile processor registers memory caches and ram how much system hardware context is retained must the operating system reboot to return to the working state so state s0 is the working state states s1 s2 s3 and s4 are sleeping states in which the computer appears off because of reduced power consumption but retains enough context to return to working state without restarting the operating system state is five is the shutdown or off state a system is waking when it is in transition from the shutdown state s5 or any sleeping state from S1 to S4 to the working state S0 and it is going to sleep when it is in transition from the working state to any sleep state or the shutdown state the following figure shows the possible system power state transition so as you can see here we have this figure where we have the system working state S0 and any sleeping state from S1 to S5. So remember, this state S1, S3, S4 and S5 is different from each other in terms of power consumption and the amount of sleeping state. So when we go from here from s0 to s5 we are in sleeping direction and vice versa from s5 to s0 we are in waking 
direction. So, as the figure shows, the system cannot enter one sleep set directly from another. No, it must always enter the working state before entering any sleep state. For example, a system cannot transition from state S2 to S4, nor from state S4 to S2. It must first return to S0, where we have the whole or the full worker, from which it can enter the next sleep state, because a system in an intermediate sleep state has already lost some operating context, it must return to the working state to restore the context before it can make an additional state transition. So, this is all about the laptop or motherboard states S0, S1, S3, S4, and S5. So, I hope you understand the video because this context or this state is not easy to understand, but please just repeat the video two or three times and you will understand what I'm saying. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share the video if you like it. And for anyone who wants to improve its skills and information, you can join me in the Patreon page where I share more and more exclusive content Thank you very much.